Hello everyone, uh, this is Mohammed bin Uthman from Motion Hub and uh, welcome to this very first Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to get an object to follow a spline. So let's get started, I'm here in Cinema 4D, I will click on the cube, to add the cube and uh, let's build our car for example, something like this. Maybe I will activate the fillet and then uh, fillet radius, let's say this is our car. Now. I will draw uh, with the spline pen, like uh, this path, all right. Of course, you can uh, change the uh, point or you can uh, move uh, to other views and um, adjust it. Anyway, now with the cube selected, right click, animation tag, align to spline. So now all you have to do is to pick the spline with this one, all right? Or you can just drag it here to the spline path. And now if we move the position, it will move, all right? So again, I will select the, the tag. The movement is not correct, so you have to click on the tangent shell. So now it will follow the path. If you want to change the direction either or the axis, you can change it from here. You choose X, uh, X uh, axis, uh, Y, all right, or uh, Z. And uh, in our case, Z is the correct one. Okay. Of course, you can uh, select. Uh, you can go to the zero, and then uh, click here to recall the keyframe. Then go to the last uh, point in the last keyframe in the timeline and then uh, make it 100 again I click so now when I play it will move uh, correctly now one more thing is if you create another uh, spline let's say I will put the, this helix okay I will change it to XY maybe we can change it this way and I will adjust the height so of course if you select the align spline uh, if, you, if you select the align tag and you move the helix okay it will go directly to the helix now there is one more option you can select both uh, splines and then right click connect object plus delete now if you go to the align, ta align to spline tag and uh, of course you drag the uh, spline now it will uh, work again in the same uh, path however you can change the segment now we have two segments which is this one is the first one second one if you change it to one it will goes on the helix all right one last thing is to is the um, rail path so i will Add again a new uh, path rail. Um, so last thing is the uh, rail path, and I will explain it uh, very fast. So I will add a helix, change it to x z, and then uh, adjust the height, maybe the star radius, something like that. Again, I will select the tag, and then I will drag the helix. So now, okay, now I will go to the zero, make the position, and then this one, hundreds, okay, but uh, I forgot to change the segment to zero. So now this is the movement, all right? Now, if I will duplicate um, the helix, like Control c Control v and then I will move it here, okay? Then I will select the uh, rail path, uh, the tag, and then I will uh, drag the helix one in the rail path. So as you can see, the movement will become uh, more correct, okay? It's, let's remove it to see the difference. I will clear it from here. Now, this is the movement, all right? And if I choose the helix, it will follow the um, 
the rail i don't know if this is useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss anything and uh, if you have any question uh, please let me know in the comments below thank you so much